I've had a lot of problems with Kwin crashing in Kubuntu 16.04. Now it did get slightly better with the 0.1 release of Ubuntu 16.04, presumably with the newer kernel and some of the underlying system upgrades that I'd done. Marginal improvement, there wasn't the severe Kwin crashes anymore, typical that happened just after I released the video describing my thoughts about it. But anyway, there were still glitches and crashes that just kind of ruined the view of the applications, but it wasn't, yeah, it wasn't as severe as the Kwin crashes. So I've decided to swap over to KDE Neon. This brings me a much newer version of Plasma, so now at Plasma 5.7.2, that's higher than you would get with the backport repository in Kubuntu. So is it an improvement? Well, it seems to be. Although I've just found a little glitch, when I run GUVC View, webcam viewer, most of the Kwin effects disappear. There should be a transparency and wobbly windows effect there. Now it only seems to be this specific application I've found that disables them all. I've tried quite a few and it's not just GTK apps or miscellaneous apps. Nope, it's this one application. Ladies and gentlemen, apologies for the need to interrupt this video, but sometimes I will not upload the video the same day I record it, and this time it was one of these instances I am glad I did not, because I have found the issue to the aforementioned glitch with the compositing effects. It is KDE bug 361154 running native OpenGL games with compositing enabled breaks X11 plasma 5.6.0 decorations. This user who was running Agentu describes a very similar problem that I was having with GUVC View. Now I can probably determine from that that GUVC View uses OpenGL because there was this fix listed in post number 67 that supplied a temporary fix. And I did that running KCM shell 5 Kwin rules and created the necessary rule. Now I have put my two cents worth on this bug, affecting me to, yes, running the GVC view webcam viewer. So this was Kwin 5.7.2, indicating the issue has not been fixed still. Now I believe it is to do with the NVIDIA, I'm not gonna say drivers because it's not the drivers because it worked fine in Plasma 5.5.1. It is to do with something the developers have done to Kwin caused it to work incorrectly with NVIDIA. So we'll see what happens now. And also while I'm here, I would like to add a further issue I found with the operating system. This was well after I'd finished off the video when I started to edit it in Caden Live. Oh my God, Caden Live was just being an absolute bitch for crashing. It was just ridiculous. And I've got to the point where I have downgraded Caden Live back to the original Kubuntu version and it is now working. Anyway, back to the original video. Another problem that I found, and this was actually as far back as the installer I recognised this issue, that it has an updater service running in the background. Now for some reason this updater service doesn't close gracefully upon reboot. So you end up with your system hanging on reboot and it sits there for about two minutes before it finally goes, well, oh, okay, I'll reboot. And you can literally see the countdown timer. It says it's going to count down to a minute 56 seconds, I think it was, to be precise. And it's so annoying. You literally have to sit there waiting for it. I did get frustrated, press control, delete a load of times. And <laughs> actually, I think that did kick it off. But <laughs> I don't know, it was just such an annoying thing. Because I then went through system D, found the service, and disabled it. This was the service here, unattended upgrades. And what I've had to do is I disabled it, so that's just looking at the status there. Active, inactive, dead. So with the unattended upgrades disabled, the system rebooted pretty damn quick. No more delays there, so that was good. So what I would say about this system, you cannot set it up without the command line. It is so basic and minimal, you actually have to resort to using the command line. So it's not a system for new users kind of need to be a bit more of an intermediate user with Linux. I mean, especially for solving things like the unattended upgrades hanging on reboot. So yeah, it's been a bit of work setting this system up. So KDE Neon is a very minimal KDE system, which is based on Ubuntu. 
They use their own Launchpad repository, providing the KDE desktop, and associated Qt programs. Well, after closing the webcam viewer, logging out and logging back in, you can see I've regained all the effects now. So that's wobbly windows, the transparency effects there in the application window bar. So what is the rest of the system like? Well, the settings all seem to be very familiar with what I was doing in Plasma 5.5.1. There's a few minor little differences around. So if I was looking at the desktop theme, it now gives you more of a little picture in the icons. That didn't used to be quite like that. If you search for an image in the Alton F2, so let's do pack. So if I was to look for Pac-Man wallpaper, you can drag it out there onto the desktop. That's a neat effect. Dolphin show hidden files is now just called hidden files. You have to enable that button there, so you just go into Control, Configure Toolbars, and then search for Hidden. Well, you won't find it there because it's over this side now. That caught me out initially because I was looking for Show Hidden Files and it wasn't there. We still get the weird question here of what do you want to do with adding a network folder? Yes, I would like to execute it. Oh yes, SSH, uh, Sky. I don't know why it does this. Why won't it connect to sky.tzd? Because it exists. There you go. Useless thing. Oh, it's only that specific server as well, which is my DNS server. I don't recall having any issues with that in Plasma 4, but I'm trying to think, did I connect to it with the domain name or IP address? Anyway, the reason I came over here to look at a file. The scroll bar minimap is shown by default in Kate. Now I believe this feature has been around for some time. I can't date it exactly, but one very specific mention I saw of it was back in early 2016, although some early sketchy mentions were back in 2012. So to think this feature has been around for up to four years is really annoying, but it's been disabled, so I wasn't aware of it. The launcher is still very snappy, and I use the dashboard view, so yeah, just scrolling around give a quick responsive view of the applications and yes I can search for them as well. I'm going to keep with KDE Neon a bit longer and see how it goes. Well thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.